In this demonstration, I'll be showing the new slice feature or the OLAP navigate function of Power OLAP provided with the Excel plugins. The OLAP navigate or the new slice feature can be used with either Power or Excel or with the Power OLAP designer add-ins. To use the new slice feature, simply select the Power OLAP menu automatically installed in Excel and select new slice. This will provide a dialog asking you to connect to and select a cube with an A database that you'd like to, to do a slice on. In this instance, as you can see, I'm connected to a server. I've already expanded a database and I have a cube in the list. The new slice feature will re remember your last selection and automatically open that for you when you select the new slice dialog. <clears throat> I'll select OK. By default, the new slice feature will be inserted wherever your selection is. In this instance, you can see that I have a default slice for my future year model. If I click in cell A8, I can see my OLAP navigate feature function. By default, this function is hidden. However, the text is still available to look at. It's simply formatted not to appear to an end user. As you can see, it takes various parameters to this function. I'll select the function wizard, and we can see what parameters are taken. The first one is the server, second database, third file. The OLAP navigate feature or function creates and uses its own connection to a power OLAP database. This is the only function other than the OLAP open function that does not take the results of an OLAP open or an OLAP database. As we noted in other, many other functions, usually the first parameter to a function is the result of an OLAP open or an OLAP database call. In this instance with OLAP navigate, the server, database, and file specification is included or embedded directly in the function call. <clears throat> As we look down the list, we can see that this also takes a cube and then indications about what data to pull back and where to put that data into the grid. I'll cancel out of this dialog. And let's take a further look at what we can now do with OLAP Navigate. What makes this feature so uh, specific? The OLAP Navigate feature allows people to do a lot of navigation directly inside of the Excel environment. For example, the default implementation uses the root elements in the rows and columns for the last two dimensions of the cube. If I double click on total year, I expand in Excel out to show the children of total year. I can now double click on first quarter and that'll expand my, expand my members below first quarter to January, February, March, automatically recalculating those values. Much the same, I can double click and expand world to get North and South America. I can then double click on North America to get its children as well. I can then double right click on many of these members as well. If you look at this menu, this menu is very uh, customized to the Power OLAP add-in and what you can do with this data. For example, now that I've selected North America, what can I do? I can say collapse. By doing a collapse, it undoes the double click action that I did, collapsing it down back to North America and removing its children. Other functions that I can do, I can right click, I can delete the specific column, I can move this element from here to the pages, I can move it to rows and insert it before or after months, I can expand this item, I can expand all instances of this item. What that means is, if North America had been appearing twice in the, in the cases of uh, nested items, uh, then when I right click on North America and I say expand all, what will happen is every instance of North America that appears in row 8 will be expanded. That's important because if I had something nested, for example, perhaps I had my actual versus budget underneath this dimension, I'd have multiple instances of North America appearing first above actual and then above budget. If I expanded all instances of North America, I'd see that North America would expand out into USA and Canada for the, for the sales for the actual value, and over here to the right, it would expand out for the budget value as well. <clears throat> Other features that are available via the right click are collapsing to the parent, which we just saw. You can collapse <clears throat> or you can collapse all. Collapse all will do as we said uh, before, except other than expanding all its elements, it'll collapse every instance of North America. Let's look a little closer at collapse to parent. What does it do? Collapse to parent means to take the element that I've got and replace it with its parent. 
keep and keep all allows you to keep a single instance of the selected element or all instances. In other words, if I select keep, what this is going to do is it's going to delete all other members except for the one that I have selected. I'll double click to get more of a selection here. If I then now pick on Canada, I can say delete. Delete will delete that one individual row. So you can grow and shrink your slice by right clicking on many options. The options that are available by clicking on a column member are very similar to those available clicking on a row member. The only exception is what you can move to and where you can move those, what you can move those to. For instance, if I'm clicking on a value that's in rows, I'm going to have an instance called move to columns. If I click on something in columns, my option will now say move to rows. The sheet that you create can be saved and opened by any user with Power Excel or Power OLAP installed. The values in the region or the intersection of the function will be calculated each time by a query to Power OLAP. Much like the integration of OLAP pivot, read, write, and table, a user can also type values into the cells of a navigate and have those values written back to Power OLAP. Upon recalculating, the values will change much like the others will. So, having said that, the purpose of the OLAP Navigate feature is to give people powerful browsing capabilities or uh, navigational capabilities directly in their Power OLAP interface. Uh, this is very similar to the features available with a pivot table. However, they're available via a right-click menu versus from a dialog. <clears throat> Several options are available under the Power OLED menu as to, as to how you want your pivot to, to function. For example, labels. You can define that your aggregate labels have specific formatting. You can define that your detail labels have specific formatting. What's meant by this is if you do aggregate formatting, you may want this to be a bold maroon. <clears throat> I may want my detail formatting to be italic blue. I click OK, and I'll simply make one change in this so that our values will, will refresh. <clears throat> now you can see the changes I made for formatting are now appearing automatically in this slice. To explain what happened here, when I did North America and I expanded it, remember there was already an instance of USA. If you expand or tell an element to expand, it will expand out into all its children regardless of what to, is to the right of that element. To bring this up, I'll simply click on USA and say delete columns. <clears throat> Let's look at some of the other options that are available. <clears throat> the user can also say hide nested members and disable splash screen. Disable splash screen simply stops the splash screen from coming up when Excel starts. Hiding nested members simply tells the, the members not to, not to display when they're nested. <clears throat> Other options in the slice preferences, you can expand children below parents. In the model we have here, when I double clicked on total year, first quarter expanded out below total year. In some instances, you may want your total to be at the bottom. By unchecking this option, what will happen is double clicking on total year, will expand with its children above it and not below it. <clears throat> Currently, the way that this implementation, uh, the way this um, OLAP Navigate is working, is the values that show up in these individual cells are not using OLAP Read Write. They're using much of the technique of the OLAP, uh, OLAP Table or OLAP Pivot. In other words, the values are simply values in the cell, and the OLAP Navigate function determines <clears throat> where those values belong and what belongs there. By using the OLAP read write formulas, an OLAP read write function is actually inserted into every cell in the intersection. <clears throat> center column labels, you may want your report to have the labels centered. As you can see here, Canada and USA are centered as headers. And the last one is use power OLAP headers. The use power OLAP headers option displays the header area much like you see here with a column A and column B containing the values. If you turn this off, the labels, will gen the labels will occur across the top of the sheet, saving more room vertically. <clears throat>